Hello everyone and welcome back to Killer Shrew Fans Killer Toy Reviews and today I'm coming at you with an unboxing video. This was just delivered from the good folks over at Everything Dinosaur. As always their selection and customer service is fantastic and for you international shoppers like me their overseas shipment is incredibly quick especially considering all that is going on in the world at the moment. So if you feel like picking up either of these figures after the video is over or during I wouldn't be upset if you dipped out halfway through. Well, might be just a little upset. I will put a link in the description to their website below. But yeah, I'm sure you all know what's inside. You saw the thumbnail, so let's quit wasting time and get on with it. I got my trusty scissors and I am ready to unbox some dinos. Now that we've got it open, as always, everything dinosaur includes some informational slips corresponding to the species that you ordered. Oops, packing slip, you don't need to see that. But there you've got the fact sheet for the Chilesaurus and the Giganotosaurus. I find it amusing that their scale chart depicts a drawing of the Eofauna Giga when you order in the Papo one. It's like what you wish you got. But anywho, let's fish out our models. First up, we have got the new for 2020 Papo Chilesaurus. I'm going to go ahead and unbag this guy for you since you all enjoy that part. And there is our Chilesaurus. If you had told me that in 2020, Papo was going to do such a unique species, I would not have believed you. It feels like Papo likes to coast off of trends, but this, this is something I would have expected Collecta or Safari to do years before Papo got around to it. So, hats off to Papo for being one of the first, if not the first company to reproduce this species in model form. It's unfortunate that the Papo Giganotosaurus has somewhat eclipsed all of the other Papo offerings this year because I think this little figure turned out to be quite eye-catching. I love the paint scheme, the sculptural details are great as always, it's quite a unique model upon first impressions, and definitely worthy of recognition, because like I said, I never would have thought Papa would have done something like this. But that's not why you all are here. Yes, right after lamenting how the Chilesaurus has been ignored in favor of the Giganotosaurus, I'm going to ignore the Chilesaurus and talk about the Papo Giganotosaurus. And there he is. Let's get him out of the bag. Alright, so what can I say about this model that hasn't already been said? Basically nothing, right? I'll give Papo some credit with this piece. My first impressions as I unbagged it is that it has presence. For better or for worse, it immediately captures your attention. The sculpt is big, it's imposing, and you can't help but look at it. I find it impressive in that regard, at least. Don't get me wrong, I still think it's a doofy model, and maybe what appeal I'm seeing in it right here and now is the result of me being in the honeymoon phase that I always have whenever I open up a new dinosaur. But there is work to appreciate within this model, so we'll see if I'm still able to look past the pose and enjoy the stuff I'm seeing now further down the road. But there you have it guys and gals, two out of three of the new dinosaur sculpts from Papo are now here and part of my ever-growing collection. Very excited to finally see these models after the countless delays they almost certainly experienced given the state of things. You can expect full reviews on both of these models shortly, wherein I'll certainly be going more in depth with my thoughts on both of them. But that's going to do it for this particular video. Let me know what your first impressions are of these figures now that you're starting to see them in hand. Are you planning to order either of them? Them, or have you already gotten your order in? Drop a comment down below on the way out. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope to see you again for the full reviews. Take care out there, and bye bye